The MiG-21 UPG, the Bison, or rather called the MiG-21-93 was added to the game, but was it added to the correct nation? Let's talk a little bit about it. Hello guys, once again, it's Matt, thank you all the members and patrons, make sure to subscribe, and we got, finally, the final version of the MiG-21. The UPG, normally called the Bison, or even the Dash-93 in its prototype phase. Uh, this aircraft is just an upgrade to the original BIS, carrying R-73s, R-27s, already talked about a lot on this aircraft, but it was added for the UK, and I think the community is really divided on this uh, regard, you know, because uh, it is a Russian aircraft, and again, of course, we already have a T-90 in the uh, UK tech tree, so... Why the surprise? Well, because it is a MiG-21, right? It is an aircraft that it's such icon uh, has such icon an iconic shape, and it is so iconic that um, it deserves a place in the USSR tech tree, and I kind of agree with it. But at the same time, the UK could use something like this to be a good premium for somebody to buy it, and something different for you to actually use in the higher ranks of the tech 3 anyway right so if this is added to the uk line uh and ussr doesn't have a premium that is a rank 8 yet only um the bison is and the f20 are the two premiums that you can buy like that uh what else is there to actually be added to uh, the um to the ussr line is there something else that can be added instead of these or as a premium vehicle or something like that well there is two options in my opinion well the first one would be obviously the same aircraft but in the prototype phase okay the mig-21-93 you would have some differences it wouldn't be too different from the um you know from the uk version out of it but it would be a little bit you know with different uh different flare pod and something like that but it overall being the same aircraft okay but the second option and i think uh the most fun option would be actually another mig-23 the mig-23-98 yes there is an upgrade to the mig-23 uh, mld as well that can be used in the same way as the bison it would still be a prototype okay but at the same time it would be something very different why because it is basically the same aircraft but having stuff that is from a mig-29 that's pretty much what it is right uh so it is the same aircraft itself the air airframe everything the flare pods um they're pretty much the same you know everything is pretty much the same the thing that matters that is different on these aircraft is actually the insides of the aircraft the first thing is that they changed the radar of course they added two options uh of course there is the mig-23-98-1-2 and-3 right we're gonna talk about the dash one because the dash two and three they were made more for export and for countries that had less money or that weren't uh, really trusted uh, to actually use the top of the technology of the Russians, you know. Uh, so the Dash 98 Dash 1 would be the, the main one, but still, it would have uh, the option of a radar very similar to what we have in the SMT, together with another option of a radar that would be very, very good no matter what, with around 100 kilometers of range. So the radars would be very, very good. Uh, the other, of course, upgrade to it was the you know the whole cockpit itself it became uh, a glass cockpit of course uh together with that it can actually use the hms of course they were testing on the mld already in soviet times to use the hms on the mig-23 they never did use in service but it was an upgrade that the dash 98 would come as a standard and of course the main thing all of those radars hms's and cockpits the weapon systems that would be the main difference uh between you know the original mld and these aircraft so uh, of course for air to ground first it would be you know kh 2090s cob 500s even the kh 31 which is an anti-ship missile uh so it would be a much much more complete aircraft on that regard of being a little bit more multi-role even with the radar being multi-mode as well uh being able to locate ground targets and stuff and of course, another one would be in the air-to-air -air role. Obviously, R-73s, you know, that would be an option. Uh, but not only that, R-27s, and yes, the R-77 as well. Yes, this thing could actually carry the R-77. 
uh, being another one, although the UPG can already carry, technically in real life, and in the game he didn't receive it, probably because Gaijin doesn't want to add Fox Trees for premiums right now. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, yeah, the Dash 98 could actually carry R77s as well. Uh, there are even some pictures out of it which are very, very cool. Uh, but yeah, it would be still be limited, you know. Um, in the dogfight parameters, you would lose against any fourth generation aircraft. Um, on the regards of, um, you know, dogfight, you would lose. Uh, the only part that it would actually be on par and not really that close, but it would be on par, it would be on the missile side. Uh, so you would actually be able to carry the R-77s and the R-73s, but only four of these missiles, so it would still be pretty limited. It's nothing OP, it would definitely not be a 13.0 aircraft, unless, I mean, maybe, but I would guess it would be in a 12.7 or something, uh, especially with the nerfs that we has in the MiGs 23s, right? But uh, yeah, it would be a very, very cool aircraft, and to be honest, um, it would bring a little bit more variety uh, to, you know, to the game, actually. Because remember, everybody will probably receive some form of a premium that is rank 8, okay? Don't get me wrong, but probably everybody. The US and the UK now have one, but everybody else will probably get one at one point. And yeah, we need variety, we need different types of gameplays and stuff and different aircraft and that would be it for the USSR in my opinion. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think about it. See you guys. Bye.